Hi, welcome back. So a few months ago, I made a bigger version of the Madrigal House from Encanto. What about if we went the opposite way and made a new version of the Madrigal House from Encanto? Well, I'm not going to make it myself because this is actually a gift with purchase. Look, this looks just, look, it looks just like, well, all right, it doesn't look just like it, but looks like a modern-ish version of the Madrigal House. And I reckon we could put the micro doll of Mirabelle in here. It could be like her own personal little retreat for when the rest of the family gets really, really annoying. So this was actually a gift with purchase released earlier this year by Lego. It's called Houses of the World One and had some sort of astronomical price. Of to, that you had to spend to actually get it but I was actually spending an astronomical amount of money a Lego at this time so I was lucky enough to get this not so lucky enough to get a sticker sheet that's not oh gosh that's not bent okay so having a look on the inside we've got a couple of bags of two and a couple of bags of one and our instruction book and a bent base plate oh man Man, this is a bit dodgy and I know that if I contact Lego they'll replace that but hopefully I'll still be able to build this today and that bent plate won't impinge what my plans for today because that would be really sad because I want to be kitty daddy better class so let's get started so this whole thing is actually so little so cute but it's not even micro scale scale micro figure scale <laughs> micro scale and it's not mini figure scale so I reckon it's gonna be just the right does this fit yeah okay that's gonna that's gonna be okay okay all right so the brown base plate it's not a disaster so i think that this is going to be an appropriate scale for the micro dolls which is really such a cute idea i <laughs> just love this if you don't get tiny dolls else i need to calm down okay so i oh go i'm not getting these colors the yeah these pinks yellows what these pinks are getting mixed up for me in the instructions like I'm finding it really hard to identify between the coral and the pink flowers I'm using the digital instructions I don't know if that makes a difference but I'm really finding I'm really struggling this year and I'm also struggling with a lot of the Lego friends sets of use, using three different colors of green flowers like three different shades and I never know which ones I'm supposed to be putting on where so anyway that's by by the by not has nothing to do with right now but yeah struggling with the pinks so this isn't a very difficult build but there are interesting ways to put the windows in and the little door no one's getting through that door because that is blocked but it's just there for show sure. it's a it's a demonstration door only and these are these houses of the world apparently they're going to be four of them and I don't know that I'm going to end up with the rest but apparently they're modular so this you can see this one's been smoothed off on the top of the little jumper studs for the next level but <laughs> that means then you can kind of mishmash the different houses of the different worlds into each other which could be really not so but also could be lots of fun so hopefully i get a few more of these we'll see so we're up to actually furnishing the inside we've got this big pot which i mean looks little at the moment but in actual relation size to the whole house it's a big pot near the front door and tiny chairs look how cute these are <laughs> so these two little chairs which are just in beautiful colors for this whole for this whole theme we've got little red corner chairs and in between them got this half round tile with a jumper stud on it which I don't know that I've seen before if I have I've only seen it very recently and that with a little brown lozenge tile on the top makes a table in between the chairs snugged right up against the wall I told you that this was teeny tiny got a really nice big I reckon that this is like a wall hanging with all lots of little houses all crammed in together so colorful it's gorgeous really like brightens up the back wall there and this is a refrigerator in the very corner could have done with another smooth tile on the top there to actually make the top just look a bit better but you know what <laughs> punk part count obviously said no and this is this is the oven how adorable is this how cute is this so i've got a little tiny kitchen little tiny table and chairs over in the other corner and these are a couple of teeny tiny stools they are going in the middle <laughs> <laughs> the ratio of this is adorably just off but I don't care because we've got this big table now and it's got a lovely runner across it got a, a plate in the middle and that goes in between those two chairs isn't that so cute <laughs> 
It's so cute. Now this is a nice big palm tree to go outside the house and it's actually a built palm tree rather than using like pre-made leaf pieces. So these little hangy downy bits are the first layer of leaves and then we do another one of these to angle it on top of the one that we've just done and then we've got our nice little palm tree. Well it's not a little palm tree, it's almost the size the entire, well it's one, mm, it's one and a half levels of the house. Look how good that looks. I really like it. I just really like it. And it's also, we've got a chihuahua, well a chihuahua and minifigures form <laughs> with the size of this house. It's actually a great dane there guarding the front door. <laughs> the ratio of all of this is entirely budgie, but I just find it all so charming. Rip to bags number two. Oh, this plate's bent too. What did, what did Lego do with these as they were packing them? So this is the second level and this one's got the walls are predominantly this gorgeous shade of blue which is one of my favourite colours in Lego. Good next second only to the light yellow which is my absolute favourite colour. Okay so we've got the blue walls, we've got these little pieces here which are actually <laughs> <laughs> so big and so good. They're the little, uh, what do you call those things? Like window ledge bits. So out the front, we're going to be able to put some substantial window boxes on those. I love how the windows are actually framed in the same shade of yellowy orange as the bottom level. So that just ties everything in really nicely. These are Oh, these are the overhangs, like the awningy kind of things for our windows. And then a bit of blue going along the top. And then I think we're done, ready to put on our hinging for the actual roof line, which is going to be on an angle, which is the same way that we did the roofing for the magical house. So nice and smooth along the top so we can add the roof. But first up, going to put on all of the window box flowers. This makes it so pretty. So pretty. At least I know I've got the right pinks in here because there were no actual coral colored flowers in this bag, so I didn't get it wrong. I don't mix up the red and the pink, so that's good. Does that mean something? <laughs> in color blindness tests or something? I don't know. So we're getting our awning on. It's We're alternating brown, like the nougat color, and orange. And I just like how it's not just orange, brown, orange, brown, but there's a couple of times you've got two browns together or two oranges together, and that just mixes it up. It just, it's little details like that that make it look less, like makes it look more organic. All right, on the inside, we go with some more tiny furniture. So this is the bedspread for the bed. And I think I might be a bit off here with my sizing. I don't reckon my micro doll's gonna fit on there. I might have to make it just a little bit longer, but I can adapt that. A lovely painting for the wall of some mountains, which are actually probably somewhere in South America that I don't know about, because I know nothing about geography. And some a couch here and a toadstool, looks like <laughs> nestled between it and the wall. A really gorgeous big rug piece to go on the floor in front of the couch. And then and up against the wall is a little bureau, like a little side side table -y kind of thing with some drawers on the front, a blue shimmery vase like we saw downstairs. We're going to be putting some greenery in that later, but we've got another, what is this? What is this supposed to be? Because there's another tiny version of that snugged in next to the couch. Anyway, tell me, tell me if you know. This is a tiny little TV for the side table here. And then we've got another vase with some, this is so big, it's it's hysterical but gorgeous because you do have like really, really big vase pots with flowers in them. Right, so I'm gonna need to make that bed just a little bit longer to fit Mirabelle on it, but I totally can convert this. It'll only take the slightest amount of conversion to turn it into micro doll size, I reckon. So on the very tippity top, there is a satellite dish, which is just a little bit too modern for what I want here, but I'm going to adapt that in a moment. But first up, I'm going to put this greenery in here because I forgot to put that in. Might need to, according to the picture, that that little bit of plant is actually a bit taller than that. So we're just going to pull that a bit out. There we go. Look at that. See how I, I'm so right. It is the right size for micro doll. So let's put this on our first level and we've got like a granny flat, a little hideout for Mirabelle in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost the right size for her. I think it's so adorable. But one thing I'm going to change is this satellite dish because I just think it looks too modern for to be able to pretend that this is a version of the magical house. So if I put the rainbow on here, I'm just using some spare parts. The rainbow is obviously not a spare part for this set, but some spare parts from the set to convert our satellite dish to make a rainbow and a cloud to put above it. Clips, not actually a spare part, unfortunately. So I could just 
put that on top of the roof line. I'm going to need to build that up again by one more stud. And yeah, I think that should fit on the roof. So no satellite dish, but some changeable weather for the top of the Encanto house, which is moving over to the middle. That might, that look, oh, hold on. Yeah, that, look, that looks really cute. Oh, tiny changes can make all the difference. Hold on, I've worked hard, not smart here. I didn't need the clip at all. I could have just put this little gray tap thing with the brown holy stud behind the cloud. Uh, and then, yeah, put the rainbow on the front. That's much tidier and needed less parts. <laughs> Sometimes you don't get it right. I mean, there are numerous ways to do things. That's much cleaner though. All right, so there we go. Now we've got a teeny tiny magical house for Mirabelle, micro doll sized, and her great Dane Chihuahua, which is confusing, so confusing, but fun, so much fun. All right, let me know what you think. What you think now that we've got a teeny tiny house for Mirabelle and yeah, do all the things. Subscribe, check back in, new videos coming up soon. So I will see you then. <laughs> Bye.